Hello, hello, hello. Well, I remember the last time we talked about dungeons, we talked about the torture chamber. And I thought that was literally like a couple of weeks ago, but apparently that was like two months. <laughs> so time is traveling very fast. Today it's all about dungeon environments. And uh, I've got uh, a whole bunch of different ideas for you. I'm hoping this is going to work out well. Uh, certainly the intention is that it be useful to you in some way. And uh, I think everything's working fine. Right now I'm going to put up a poll. How's it going, F. Hubba, and how are you, Shiner81? Welcome. <clears throat> uh, I had my birthday gathering last night, so I am... I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good mood. So let's let's do this. Grab some food, some drink. Make sure you're comfortable. I'm going to do a presentation, and at the at the end of the presentation on dungeon environments, I am going to do some tool building. You know, we're going to build some more tools. Um, not necessarily tools that uh, I'm, not, I'm not going to say anything more. Just just hang on. Just hang on. We'll we'll get there. Anyway, let me get uh, rolling, shall we? We've got to do this. <clears throat> come on, come on, voice. <clears throat> Hold out. Hi, welcome to How to RPG. My name is Fred Wheeler, and today I want to talk about the ultimate guide to dungeon environments, but not just dungeon environments, but different types of dungeon environments. Because I think a lot of people assume that a dungeon is just one sort of thing. It's a big maze, right? That's it. There's nothing else to it. Why else do we need to even talk about this topic? We should just stop right now. But that's not true. In fact, there's a lot going on with a different type of dungeon environment. And um, we're going to go over that today. So, dungeon environments. One of the factors, I'm going to give you a couple of things, but one of the factors to consider is you need to make dungeon environments three-dimensional. It needs to be a three-dimensional location just like the real world. And this forces your player characters to crawl, climb, jump through the areas, not just walk and run. We want them to use everything at their disposal. Even swimming would be useful. Anything that gets them to do something other than just walking and running. And also when it comes to a dungeon, there needs to be a narrative theme to your dungeon. It makes the experience of exploring your dungeon more interesting to the player characters. Um, players need to be able to interact with the dungeon environment. It's all very well having things they can find and take with them and put in their pack, but you want them to be able to move doors, move a wall, um, move a statue, objects, furniture, even shift and move the rooms potentially. Present multiple entries and exits. Why would we do this? If we have multiple entries and exits in our dungeon, it's the first opportunity that our game master is presenting to the players in terms of choice. Now we have a choice about which entry point we can use, which exit point we use, and it also allows for multiple ways of escaping when we have to escape, because that might well happen. Presenting a few different routes throughout your dungeon. Now, often this is talked about as loops, but it doesn't have to be a loop. But a few different routes through the dungeon means you don't just have a roller coaster ride. What you have is an opportunity to explore a region and make choices about where you go first. You might go to every location, but the order that you do it is important. So different routes is very important. And also, if we have different routes, if we get stuck, we can try a different pathway. Secret areas and pathways in a dungeon. This allows a player character to gain... Bonus information, potentially, uh, bonus items, possibly magic items, and also avoid dangerous re regions or routes that we don't really want to take. So there's a good route to take, and then there's a bad route to take. Also, when people think about dungeons, again, they tend to think maze, but a dungeon is simply a location with very distinct boundaries. That's it. So the types of dungeons are very broad, and they're not necessarily just an arbitrary maze. So here are a, it's a pretty big list of different things you could use as a dungeon. And I want you to take the ones you like and leave the ones you have no use for. Now, obviously you could have a hedge maze in a palace garden. It's quite a, a common thing to include into an adventure, particularly if you have a big mansion. Um, you could have a riverboat with multiple levels. 
that's traveling along some sort of waterway. That's actually, that's a dungeon. Uh, you could have a wizard, priest, or a king, or a queen in some sort of tomb. Tombs are always good dungeons. You can have a bandit secret hole in the wall. It might be a hideout at some sort of lair. It's going to be possibly a cavern system. Maybe it's been roughed out. Maybe it has been built uh, over time. Who knows? You can have an old theatre that used to house plays and concerts and performances. That can be your dungeon. What about an abandoned casino that offered a range of different gambling activities that aren't run now, but potentially you have the opportunity to do something with this, uh, even though it is not currently operating and it has been abandoned. What about a giant clock with uh, some moving clockwork chambers and passageways that's constantly shifting and changing position? An incredibly narrow honeycombed limestone gorge could be a dungeon. Now, gorge is just be a very narrow um, valley, really. And then strange planes. You could have planes of existence connected by a series of portals that makes up your dungeon. The belly of a colossal ship-swallowing sea creature that has consumed or eaten your sailing ship. Now you have to explore the innards of this creature. A perilous bog or a quicksand-filled mire or swamp can be listed as a dungeon. Um, you could have the slave master's quarters and the slave pens of some place that you have to find and then ho hopefully rescue the people there. But you've got uh, you know, slave pens to explore and all the various um, rooms attached to that. What about rapids or river channels that sweep through a valley in a, um, an unusually formed sort of series of pathways? crossing over each other. So it means you can go, um, obviously usually it's going to go, going with the rapids is going to be easier, but you can take a different pathway, you can climb out of it, you can move further along the bank, things like that. A giant tree that's been riddled with many crevices and hollows, like an enormous colossal fey or elf tree. A massive melting iceberg that's full of holes as certain parts of it will melt faster than others forming not just pathways but room cavities. A monster infested uh, palace that's made of glass or mirrors. A, a flowing flooded underground uh, prison that has multiple levels and then you need to swim down uh, various levels and find your way through this place. An iron obelisk of great size filled with passageways and rooms and maybe it's full of stars. An evil giant ruined fortress, you know, a fortress that was control, is controlled by a giant who has been throwing their weight around and is tyrannical in some way. A partially submerged clock tower that used to be part of a city but now is really sinking below the, uh, the surface. A floating castle that appears only at night. A, a massive candle uh, that is partially hollow at certain places and is slowly melting from the flame on the top of it. A graveyard of uh, giant skeletons where you can actually explore the innards of uh, various cavities within their, their skulls and their bones. A glacier of poisoned water where you can see the, the water and the ice has carved out the rock uh, within a mountainside. You could have a, a massive skull of an ancient dragon or a god as your dungeon. Uh, a sunken sailing ship wedged in the coral reef is a dungeon. A tangled forest of thorny trees and briars. Uh, a, a giant insect infested temple. You could have a volcano and the lava tubes and the crater all connect to steam vents giving you a very deadly and dangerous environment to explore but it, it's, it's still got areas that you can um, move through. A sewer system under a city populated by giant rats and possibly were rats. An intricate giant sort of uh, hourglass with, um, with glass tubes that's slowly filling with sand. So there's going to be a limited time frame that you can actually explore this hourglass. What about a, a storm that has become solid cloud? 
and actually formed pathways and areas within it. Uh, a crashed spaceship that has been found in the wilderness. A colossal walking iron or stone humanoid that pounds the ground and moves around the world causing destruction. But our adventurers are going to explore the innards of this thing. And then the exotic biodome of a garden put out by a druid or a mad scientist. There's a lot of different things. All of these are actually dungeons. So when you think dungeon and you think, well, I don't like dungeons because I like to have something that's a bit different. I can assure you that dungeons can be different. It's really about understanding what a dungeon is. It's got a boundary and it has a number of elements that allow you to do certain things and make choices and take a different path rather than just one or two. And that's it. It's really not much else to it. So I'm hoping that this was useful to you and if it was, fantastic. I want to thank my patrons who support me every week so I can run this program. And I want to thank you for watching. And hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s. <clears throat> okay, let's see how we're doing today. Let's go and have a look at chat and then we're going to get started um, doing, some, doing some work like we normally do. Now... <clears throat> You might have noticed that I keep running these programs, but there's a slight different spin every time I do this. And that's quite deliberate on my part. I like the idea that um, we, are, we are doing more than we did before. Because one of the things I've discovered is when you look at um, dungeon design and how it works and really dungeon design is just location design that's really all it is i could have changed the title to this ultimate guide to different environments for adventures it doesn't even have to have the word dungeon in there um and and it would still have fulfilled pretty much the same thing the concept of a dungeon and how you build it out is almost identical to a location design in many, in many respects. I, I don't think there isn't too much going on that's different from that. <clears throat> now, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm still wearing the, uh, the the weather on me, so I'll do my best to get through this. We're going to, um, I think we're going to build some some assets today. I, I think we, we've been doing a lot of 100 tables, and one of the tables that I have noticed that almost always built, almost every book that you come across seems to have a table like this and that is items that you can find in your dungeon location and I'm kind of curious to see uh, where this goes um, I'm, I'm honestly I'm curious to see where this goes so hello Fred um, Shiner81 I said hi to you as well Derp Derp is a patron thank you for being here Derp hi everyone um, I've got to carry 50 pounds a mile, but I'll be back soon to watch the rest of the show. Oh my gosh, Derp. You be careful, don't hurt yourself. Without good descriptions of the location, we'd just uh, be playing an empty white room with a grid on the floor. Well, that's true. And, I mean, it's not just descriptions, it's the ability to move and interact with that, that, uh, that room or chamber or location or area, because really it's not just... Dungeons aren't just room by room by room. Yep. Um, I would I would have never never realised half of these were dungeons. Very good list. Well defined and uh, stealing a few. So for those of you who are unaware, I mean some of these are things I have made up, but the vast majority are not my ideas. Where they where did I where did I get these ideas from? I got it from one of the best books I'm I consider uh, out there, and it's it's this book. <laughs> uh, honestly, this this is this is better than a lot of the other stuff I've seen around. So this is the Pathfinder Game Mastery Guide, and I believe if I turn to it, I will find on page one hundred and seventy six types of dungeons, and they have fifty different types of dungeons that you could include in your game. One of them they had listed as a mine. And the only reason I did not mention a, a coal mine or a diamond mine or anything like that is this program already talks about mines. But it is a dungeon, really. Um, it's just a very specific dungeon. <laughs> so, yeah. 
so they're not they're not original ideas that they, they, they have been they're, they're, somebody's put them down on a piece of paper you can af- like occasionally find other books that have sort of uh, a few sort of suggestions for what you could have as a dungeon um, but all of these all of these have distinct boundaries and that's really the most important thing you got uh, a distinct boundary and that's it and then how, how many different entry points pathways rooms chambers really completely up to you and, and actually not hugely important in terms of defining a dungeon <clears throat> now what do you got here now there's a dungeon idea um, a dungeon that isn't visible looks like a huge empty um, cavern possibly with a grid of stone flags on the floor and walls but no empty sp- um, space inside it is bigger than the- yep so there's a reason why I, I put down the the mirror the mirror palace and the the glass palace so you could have an ice palace i suppose would sort of serve the same purpose it's it's an unusual environment it's not something you would expect and uh i mean there's there's always going to be a purpose behind our dungeon and anyway i've been chatting too much um let's just get some work done shall we <clears throat> now i could we could go over various types of um things that you will find in your dungeon in terms of like a list of items or bits of pieces or we could do furniture now i'm fine with doing either one okay so what i'm going to do is while i'm setting up getting myself ready getting my phone out and laying things out in front of myself i'm going to ask you a question and for those of you who are here, you'll obviously be making the decision about where we go. Because I'm always kind of curious as to whether these lists that people come up with are actually any good. And whether we can make one of our own that would actually be better. I don't know that we can, but I still want to try it. And so um, here's, here's what my question is. Hashtag. What types of um, dungeon dressing do you want to work on that's a question so we're going with um, small objects or furniture then furniture sized So, <clears throat> those of you who are interested in having some input into this, I suggest that you get yourself organized and I will um, grab various books and resources, put them in front of myself, have myself a nice little list here, uh, and we'll see how we go. And that should be roughly about that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's that's fine. Because I've seen this, I've seen these kinds of lists been cr- um, created before, and I'm always curious as to whether there's a, a better way of doing this. Um, the dungeon minister. Oh, I th- the dungeon minister. I, I think I know your um, your channel. I'm sure you're. I'm sure you've got a channel. You do a lot of um, what is it? Um, is it basic D and I can't remember. Furniture sized. It looks like pale riders here. Furniture sized. Furniture, but broken, rotten, molding. Well, I mean, we can, but I mean, I'm not. We're not going to necessarily make it molding and rotting. <laughs> One of my favourite scenarios, but in the dungeon, is a poker table with snacks on it. Okay, a poker table. Interesting. All right. So it's, it sounds to me like we might be. So far, I get this feeling that there's three of you that definitely want furniture sized stuff. Which which I'm 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 fine with you know I'm happy to let's let's do finch sized, um, so let's grab a few different things. You know that's the deal with me people. Usually what I do is I, I like the idea of yeah Beck me is is our game yeah no I thought I thought I recognised the um the name so for those of you who don't know uh, Dungeon Minister runs his own channel YouTube channel and uh, he has some content on there. I don't even want to call it content. He has information and stuff. He has videos on there, basically. It's a YouTube channel. So, yeah. If you're into Beck Me, a good place to go. Anyway, 
let me just take off my eyes. Let's let's pull up a document. Uh, let's pull up my phone because I will need my phone at some point. And if I'm going to keep an, an eye on the tram track of the, uh, the the chat, I'm not going to be able to do it on my my screen. I've only got a space for one computer screen, so that's not going to be a multiple screen thing going on here. Not in this tiny little space. Anyway, so I've got that. I've got this. I need to create a new Google Doc, so I will do that now. And <clears throat> hashtag, hashtag 100 um, furnishings. Okay, for dungeons. Uh, for locations, well, we could say dungeons or locations. I mean, it, it really, it's locations. Let's do that. That's good enough. And then if I go here, and then I bold this, make it a little bit bigger so you can actually see it. That might help. That's getting there. A little bit larger. Till I get to the point where, oh, it's too big. And there we go. And then we go here, and we put number one. <clears throat> okay, right, so my chat is up. Uh, I need a drink of water. I'm gonna share my screen. And then we're gonna get started. I'm kind of curious as to people's opinion of some of these, these ideas myself. It's always interesting to see what people um, what people view of this. Now, so this is being taken out of a couple of different books. So I'm gonna sort of pull together all of their stuff and sort of have a look at it. And you're gonna tell me sort of, you know, are we on the right track? Are we on the wrong track? Stuff like this. So um, I'm also very conscious of the fact that it's all very well having a table and all it is a list of um, names. But if you don't have a description for it, it's again probably not that useful to you so <clears throat> my warning is as you know I, I like the idea of including not just the concept but also a description <clears throat> the hat comes off <clears throat> and uh, lozenger goes in and we'll see how we go Okay, so here we go. So let's see. Um, hashtag. What furniture? Furniture. Sized. Items. Do we include? Now, if you've ever... Um, played AD&D or Advanced Dungeons and Dragons First Ed Edition. They had something like this in there as well. Okay. <clears throat> and really, Wizards of the Coast and um, Paizo have um, borrowed from Gary's list like a lot, a lot. They've, they've borrowed a lot. Let's 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 be real. <laughs> it's 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 not something they've done themselves. They have borrowed from the work of other people. And we are doing very much the same thing. So let me just see if I can get this to... Okay, let's let's start off with... What do we got here? Um, okay. Altar. Armchair. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to just write these out real quickly, people, and then you're going to tell me if there are things that you, you, you have problems with. Because I'm kind of wondering, if is, is, a, is 100 enough? Is, is, is a table of furnishings for a location need to be a lot bigger? And then, what is this? A more, a mori? No, that doesn't look right. What is that? Does anybody know what the heck that is? I don't know what it is. It's not all very well putting it down on a on a in a book and saying, okay, there we go. Right, well, what is that? Aris or curtain? 
I am confused. Are we talking about a curtain? Or are we talking about something else? Bag? Bag? I don't feel like a... Do you really think that a bag is a piece of furniture? I, I think that's... Really? They think this, this, is, this is furniture? I feel like that's an item. It's not... Anyway. Okay, a barrel. I suppose you could call a barrel a piece of furniture. Um, yeah, I suppose that's all right, that one. Next, a bed. Well, that bed is definitely definitely furniture. Um, bench. Yep, we'll give bench. That's fine. Blanket. No. No, blanket is not. That, that's... What are, what are you doing here? What have they what have they been up to? A box, large. What are they, hopefully they're not going to have box small. Are they going to have box small? I guess box large. Fine. I can live with it. Again. Um, brazier and coals. A brazier? Yeah, okay. I'll give you that one. Uh, brazier. Brazier and coals and charcoal. Uh, where are you? Charcoal. Okay. Next, a bucket. I don't agree. A bucket is is not furniture. What's going on there? A buffet cabinet. Does anybody know what a buffet cabinet is? I've never heard of one before. I know. I mean, I know what a cabinet is, but a buffet cabinet. Does anybody know what that is specifically? Because I don't. A coffin. All right. Now we're finally seeing. So people are now putting in some ideas here. Um, thank you very much. Buffet cabinet. Mm. Cabinet. Do I have it? down what is that what is that i don't know exactly okay so coffin yes i agree coffin let's put coffin in there bit of a space there scrolling down it's to hold dishes is it oh it's a buffet oh okay a cabinet that holds dishes. Okay, all right. Thank you for that. A buffet table with drawers. A Cax Max. Hello, Cax Max. How are you doing? Um, bed, statue. We have bed already. Statue, we don't have statue. But we probably need to have space, so we'll go statue. I agree. Let's have a statue. Pile of pine branches and animals skins for bedding. Oh, okay, I see. What would do? What do we call that though? Can we give it a tag name? A wardrobe. Yeah, a wardrobe. Wardrobe. And we'll put a space in there. Okay, next. And more is a wardrobe. Is it? It's, if, if that's all it is, if that is all it is, is a wardrobe, we'll just get rid of that and just put wardrobe and be done with it. Because that, that just sings to me, do we need that? Um, I've got Alter. Yes, and he's given me a description of what it is. We almost need another list of furniture styles because otherwise we'd have... Thousands of items of furniture. This is kind of where my head was going with this, actually. Um, no, now let's take the altar. <clears throat> uh, an altar is it's basically a table, isn't it? A table. Um, altar, a table where... Sacrifices are performed. 
I think that's right. A bone throne. Well, a throne. We don't. I mean, we can make it a bone throne, but it doesn't have to be a bone throne. We could just say throne. Throne. A large chair. Well, that's not really what it is, is it? It's probably a bit more than that. But we've got something like that. Barrels. We've got barrels already. Um, next. A bean bag chair. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Kidding. A bean bag chair. A bean bag chair. <laughs> bean bag chair. Bag chair. Uh, funny. Love it. Yeah, Santa's in proportions. Santa Claus sized bag. <laughs> um, okay. Altar. Did I did I have altar? Oh, altar. It's a wrong altar. Altar. That altar. There we go. A little bit of a, a change. Okay, right. Dishes. Um, okay, good to know. Torture rack. Well, yes. <clears throat> now we've got to be careful because remember we do actually have under um, torture chambers, we do have like a big list of torture devices. So we don't necessarily have to put torture, but we can put torture rack in there. Let's try not to go over old stuff we've already done. Torture chamber. Torture rack. Okay, got it. Buffy for pronunciation. Really? Wash it. Rub it. Wash rub. What's a wash rub? I'm confused. Fountain. Yeah, fountain. Okay. <clears throat> fountain. Now, why do we why do we want something like this? These are the things in your environment that you can move and interact with, correct? Monster bed, Iron Maiden. Yeah, I can see. So we're going to wind up filling it up with with, um, with torture devices. And we've got a huge list of torture devices. When I talked about the torture chamber uh, two months ago, we just make a huge huge list. So let's leave, let's leave the torture devices off. <clears throat> Because there's so many. There's so many. Um, a large sh a chandelier. I don't know about large chandelier. Let's just put this chandelier. I think that that's that serves. Because chandeliers, that, that means you can swing from it. You can drop it on somebody. The big bad witch. Something like that. <clears throat> where's, this? where's my... Um, I was looking at something and I got sidetracked. Why can't... I? Oh, there we go. Fire, uh, fireplace, cabinets, yes, uh, trunk, good idea. Uh, shan, shandy, chandelier, chandelier, got it. Uh, fancy wardrobe, it's a, it's a fancy wardrobe, it's still a wardrobe. It's like what? It's just, a, it's still a wardrobe. Alter material, tire, wood, stone, sorry. Yes, Iron Maiden, fireplace. Let's put fireplace in there. Fireplace. Hmm. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Buffett table. Cabinets. Uh, so this is bunk, bunk, um, so beds stacked on each other, uh, put a question mark there, but I think that's, that's pretty close to what it was supposed to be, cabinets, did I put fireplace, I did put fireplace, cabinets, 
Um, cab, cab, cabinets. Cabinets. Okay. Yeah, that's right, Pale Rider. When you require torture devices and execution devices, refer to the torture chamber video. <laughs> I did a lot. Trunk. Uh, not as in a, a trunk of an elephant, but a trunk trunk. Uh, what's this goes trunk trunk okay yeah yeah I just put in torch device C torch device table exactly let's do that torch device <laughs> well that's not device is it try again Fred there we go C <laughs> torture device section. Done on. Okay, there we go. And we'll we'll, we'll add in a couple. Um, uh, rack. Iron Maiden. There we go. There we go. It is. It is. It is nailed down. A harp is. A, I feel like a harp is not really furniture, though. I feel. I mean, harps can be quite large. Do we feel like a harp is something we should put on? Because I feel like a harp is a. It's sort of like a minor bit of furnishing. Just thinking about that and like, yeah. Spinning wheel. Spinning wheel is a very good idea. My mum used to spin wool on a spinning wheel, which is like a dying art, frankly. People don't usually use spinning wheels anymore. Spinning wheel. So that creates a problem in that a lot of people won't know what that is. <laughs> A large chest or box, yes. A large chest or rectangular 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 box. Storing items. Okay. Next, a plinth, something you set statues or decor. All right, yeah, plinth. I agree. Let's do plinth. Um, P would go about here. Do I have plinth down? Yep, plinth. And okay. Um, side tables, end tables, folding tables, picnic tables, coffee tables, table. We're putting table down, okay? <laughs> table. And this is uh, side table. Uh, what else? We got end table, end, end table, folding tables. Um, picnic table, uh, dining table, coffee table. Dining table. Dining table. There we go. A loom. That's a good idea. I like that idea a lot. I haven't missed your ideas, people. We all have to explain what a loom is, I guess. Globe, one of those big jobs for the um, study or den. A glo oh, like a um, a world globe. I get it. Yeah. FG, globe. A 
a year. World a year. Sphere shaped world a map on a stand that spins. Oh, not quite. Let's try again. Sphere. There we go. Got the globe. I got statue already. A bar. Oh, good lord. Of course, a bar. As in a bar for going and drinking. Yeah, we can't not have that. Bar. <laughs> Will anybody know what a bar is? A cage. It's a good idea. Let's um let's stick that in there. Cage. Next. Um now. A wet bar here. <laughs> uh dear. Loom. A uh, tanning rack for leathers. A tanning rack. I think the uh, tanning rack. A uh, pedestal. Um, now, isn't a pedestal and a plinth the same, or are they different? Plinth and pedestal are they the are they different? Pedestal. Pedestal. Kind of a question mark on that one. Large. Oh, paintings and tapestries. Well, painting. I think paintings is a good idea. Painting. I'm. I'm going to lose some of the other things that people have suggested. Um. Bookcase. Oh my gosh. Tapestry under T for tapestry. Tap, 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 tapestry. There we go. Uh, tap, tapestry. Okay, all right. Uh, lectin. Size and details. Bookcase. Bookcase. Okay. Book. We don't have bookcase, do we? How do they manage to lose it? We got blanket, but not bookcase. That's weird. It's very strange. Bookcase. Uh, a set of shelves that stores books. It's very simple. Um, an organ, a pulpit. Uh, okay, you, you now, now we're heading into your um, area of expertise, um, Minister. I see. Um, organ, organ O, O P. Uh, organ. Like a piano. Piano is pretty big. So that's what we're doing there. We'll do with that. Uh, pulpit. Um, 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 pulp. Pulp. There. Pulpit. Okay. Got pulpit. Um, potted plant a pot plant a potted plant yeah I think I think you're right I think we need to have a potted plant a large potted plant yeah potted we can do that um, where is it going to go though it's going to go right about here pot plant you know what that is yeah the altar makes me think of the pulpit uh, which took me to the organ <laughs> yeah I kind of figured uh, next did I get the lectin I don't know if I did Loom lectin. I'm not actually. I'm not entirely sure, Shiner, what a lectin is myself. But we'll we'll put that in. And popcorn machine. How are we getting a popcorn machine? You want a popcorn machine? Really? Popcorn. I know. I I know. I can't fight it because you're just going to come back to it again. I know this is going to happen. Pop. Corn machine. 
<laughs> yeah, Bench is actually on there already. So he, he's returned to the church. He, he's what? What furniture is in the church? Here we go. Uh, lectin is the thing that we speak at, standing behind for speeches. Okay. Yep. All right. So we. So we'll. Uh, we yeah, We'll get there. We'll get there. Now I missed a few things, so I'm gonna scroll on back until I I pick up the things that I've missed. Um, and there there are a few. Because you guys are a bundle of ideas here. A lab table, apothecary. I don't know. Is that is that an apothecary lab? I don't quite understand what that is. I'm going to put a question mark on that one, but I will put it in. Um, no, it doesn't go there. It doesn't go there. Uh, it's probably going to go right about here. Apothecary. Not really too sure what to do with that. Uh, what did you have, Cax Max? Dungeon Minister was impressed, and I missed it. Must have missed it. More well, was originally a tool or weapon storage cabinet. Uh, could be included as that. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Let's do this. Um, a tool. Or weapon storage cabinet uh, cupboard. It's probably a bit easier to understand. Aha! Let's do that. Uh, we got the spinning wheel already. We've got the tables. I'm gonna leave the harp alone. Grand, grand piano, upright piano, harp is a chord. Okay. So all right. Okay. So instead of organ, we're going to just put down piano. We're just going to put it down because it seems like I mean it, it seems like we're going to have to have piano, right? So let's just let's just do that. Just make it simple for ourselves. Everybody else, people know what pianos are. Uh, P P. I'm not going to pee myself just yet. Piano. Piano. There we go. All right. Now back down here. Oh, have to go wrangle the boys for um, bedtime. No problem. You look after your boys. No problems. I doubt you are going to have any energy left. By by the way, but um, good good luck with that. Um, a ga a game set or chess chess. Well, I think that's kind of quite small. Those are small things. I think we can include them as not being major furniture bits. Well, that can be on a different list. They can be on a different list. We'll come back to that. Flat screen TV that plays um, Baby Shark. No, I'm not including that. <laughs> um, a large sigil, plaque, wooden or stone. A, mm, what have we got? What are we dealing with here? All right. Okay. So let me just keep going. Let's, let's have a look because... There's there's a few things here that I just I'm just going to eliminate. <clears throat> but let's go back to um, this list here. As you guys, do we have a well? No, we don't have a well. It's a good idea though. Let's put a well in there. Well, are you guys trying to get to a hundred before the hours out or something like that? Oh, a gaming so a gaming table. I suppose a. Sp a billiards table or a snooker table. Okay. What are we going to call it? We're going to call it one of those things. We're going to call it a, a billiards table. Um, B I. B I N G O. B I N G O. Uh, bill. Billiards table. A pool, snooker, or oh, gaming table with <laughs> um, balls, with colored balls, colored balls and sticks. <laughs> Um, 
that's that's what we'll do a satellite dish a fish tank oh shit here we go fish tank and you should have i should have guessed that was coming um billiards right billiards table uh 200 not 100 uh, yeah I, I, well could be okay fish tank let's do fish tank um fish tank fish tank uh satellite dish okay i set my lights out set here light what am i doing here satellite dish okay uh what stuffed monster animal or all right a trophy a wool trophy that's what we're talking about wool trophy wool wool trophy wool trophy a stuffed animal's head on a uh, wooden uh, wooden board okay that's a wool trophy and then uh, you said a stuffed animal recliner fainting a fainting a fa what's a fainting couch just a, can't we just put down couch is that not all right can we just put couch seems all right to me couch uh recliner isn't a rec is a, oh, i suppose a recliner is not really an armchair it's a it's sort of a, a little bit of an extension going on there isn't there um whoopsies re uh recliner darn it recliner um duvet a duvet for the day bed no 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 that's not furniture that's that's uh, that's things unless is duvet something does what does duvet actually mean are you getting a clock a grandfather clock let's do a grandfather clock duvet yeah it's the covers no we don't need that um let's skip that skip skip that idea let's go here a uh, grandfather g g g g g g g grand grandfather clock we'll do that one a shrine we don't have a cauldron no we don't have cauldron maybe we should have cauldron called jeez shrine Oh, 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 shrine sh sh shrine shrine there we go we've got shrine and cauldron a padded quilted blanket not furniture yeah we're going to leave that that'll be for a different list but we'll leave that for today uh cauldron is a cooking item not furniture it is but it's also pretty big isn't it it's a good point though cauldron yeah i think maybe we'll leave cauldron off we'll leave that off for now we can go on to the other list religious things a rug or a mat yes a rug i think we should definitely put down rug rug uh let's sell let's see what else can we do here couch duvet no then a recliner um large multi multi-use hooker what i'm confused fainting couch stuffed animal okay so stuffed stuffed animal stuffed animal
and we'll deal with that later. <laughs> I think I got all the bits and pieces that you had put down. Yeah, yeah, okay, all right, let's 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 have a look and see what uh, the professionals have come up with. You, you guys have come up with quite a few, actually, I have to say. Um, blankets, I, I don't I don't understand why you'd even put blankets down, frankly. I think blankets is silly. I'm going to take blankets off in a second, for those of you who are wondering. I just put it on there because I'm looking at this book from a professional who's done this sort of thing. Um, can be big, but original ones were about a few litres. All right, okay, good to know, good to know. Okay, what's a butt? A huge cask. I don't understand that. <clears throat> Huge cask. Well, I'm doing a big lot of this. I don't know what the heck's going on there. I don't know. What is that? I don't understand that. Um, well, we've got cabinet already. Canterbury. Isn't that quite small? Now that I look at this, I'm thinking this is this is this is quite small, isn't it? I could swear it is. Can they'll are they large? Are they do they come in a large size or something like that? Do they classify as furniture? Hmm. I don't know about that one. Carpet, I suppose. Ca carpet can count. I guess carpet is 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 something. Um. Let's go here. Coffin. I feel like carpet is rug. Carpet and rug are the sort of the same sort of thing. Uh, trampoline. You want to put a trampoline in there? <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's put a trampoline in there. Oh, a vase. A large vase. Uh, yeah. No, I, I, I can see that. I can kind of see that to a certain degree. They're, they're not called vases, though, are they? They're called. Is it an urn? Is an urn or a vase? Because one of them is large or small. Can they both be small and large? I don't know. Trampoline. How do we get a trampoline in here? He's locked outside and he's seeking the kids jumping around on the trampoline. Am I am I guessing right? I, I bet I am. Tramp. Olin. <laughs> can be one candle to a hundred. Oh, can it? Uh, Liberant's uh, pianist was famous for his extravagant candelabra on the on the piano. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Well. Okay. All right. I'm mm, okay. Vase. Vase. Let's, let's put down bars. Okay, that's fine. Now, going back to the professionals, who apparently are much better at this than, than we are. Yeah, whatever. Uh, we had carpet. They got to carpet. Mm, I'll give you that, I guess. Um, cask. Well, if you're going to have the butt, then why would you have a cask? Again, got to ask a question. Really? Really necessary? I think that's going to get ditched. Um, chandelier is already there. We've, okay, chandelier. Uh, charcoal. No. Why would they put down charcoal? This is this this makes me laugh when I see. If, for those of you who don't know, I'm reading from the Wizards of the Coast furniture section, and it's pretty piss poor, if you ask me. And I'm putting down your ideas over their ideas. I can assure you that now. No. I don't consider that. That's not furniture. A chair, plain chair, padded chair. Oh, bullshit. We can have chair. We can have one chair. We're not going to have multiple chairs. Like, it, it's just a chair. If you want a chair, put chair down. Chair. Yeah. One chair, not three. Or the one, two. Yeah, there's quite a few. Chest. We didn't have chest, did we? 
we can put a chest down. We'll put down chest. I'll, I'll give you that. Large chest, medium chest, chest with drawers, closet. Well, that's wardrobe. Um, coal. No, you've got to be kidding me. They're, God, they're piss poor. I'm, I, I mean, I'm taking charcoal off in a second. Just, just, just you wait. Couch. We've already got couch. Uh, they don't have coffin. Where's your coffin? We've got crate here. I'll give you that. That's a good idea. We can put a crate down. Uh, crate, couch, crate. We'll give you the crate. Forge. Nice. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. It's real stuff. A forge. Forge me something, baby. Forge. A forge. Yeah. Uh, pedal driven grindstone. Yes. Let's just put down grindstone and then I'll explain what the hell it is because that's probably going to be a problem otherwise. Uh, grind stone. A pedal um, powered spinning um Pedal powered spinning sharpening wheel. There we go. Bellows, anvil. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Um, Albate's table, chains, winches. I'm, I'm a sir, sir real. I'm a little. I'm not sure what that is. I have no idea. I have no idea. Elaborate map on the final room's um, back wall with a empty key. Huh? Yeah, I think you've. Yeah, no, too much going on here. A wall map. I guess we can say wall map is probably. No, I, I kind of go know what you're trying to do here. Uh, wall map. A world map and poster for is pinned to a to the wall. Okay, got it. All right, I got that. Um, is that a toilet? Toilet, derp. Why you know my you know my weakness. I I must I must include toilets in the role playing games. Um, I am I used to be the only person who's ever talked about toilets, in role playing games till just recently. Uh, Wally DM has entered the toilet realm, um, and <laughs> he did a video on toilet traps. Which, very fitting for his channel. Toilet. Let's put the toilet down. Large wind chimes. Strength. Uh, wind chime. Uh, okay, I get it. Wind chime. Wind chime. A large set of hanging. Hanging. Hollow tubes, I guess it is, that make jingling noises. My mum got herself a wind chime, and when she moved into my place, she decided to hang wind chimes outside my window. I could never get to sleep, and I could not understand why I was constantly hearing this jingling noise. Only to find that somebody had hung it right outside my window. Jeez! <laughs> uh, cliff rope. What's a cliff rope? I'm a little bit lost. What do I... Uh, if I missed... Yeah, bellows. Anvil. B for bellows. Bellows. 
B bell bellows 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 um anvil um bellows anvil i'm going to say question mark on the bellows and then anvil again i I'm, I'm not i'm not i'm not sold on the idea i'm not sold um yeah no i'm not i'm not really sold on that one is it really that big anvil's not that big is it it's heavy but not that large is it really furniture it's that's a funny one that one i've had the magic chamber pot for over the <laughs> uh the yeah. wine barrel i think we had barrel down barrel covers everything uh ton. i mean whether it's a big bar um big barrel or large barrel i mean does it matter a fixed herb garden bed uh well let's just put garden bed that's probably the easiest way to make this g for garden bed um garden bed garden trough i think it's more like a trough isn't it garden trough trough there something like that yeah all right magic items <laughs> uh that's funny um so real your your suggestion here i'm i'm still trying to figure out what to do with that um what is this i'm not really familiar with it it's a little bit yeah i'll have to i'm gonna have to look it up what is that not sure a ballista fixed in place well we're now dealing with weapons rather than furniture i think that's let's 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 get real does somebody go and sit on a ballista oh that's a very comfy piece of furniture uh, this is something we we generally have around um yeah i think we're gonna leave the ballista off uh we are top of the hour we're on 74 it's going to get done today obviously this list is going to be finished it won't be uh well the list itself will be complete ish but not finished ish in terms of the other stuff but that's all right i'm gonna do go take a break though and then i'll come back and we'll continue and i'm sure it will be mostly done which is unheard of really it probably won't probably won't anyway five minutes or less and i'll be back keep going there you go
Oh yeah, yeah. Here we go. Kim and back in into the uh, a bath basin a ladder. Oh, no. we got statue deck, deck. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Back into it, and a lot of ideas flowing. I can see. Um, a halfling could write it. <laughs> a desk. Oh yes, a desk. Why have we got desk? Yeah, desk should be there. Absolutely. Um, a ladder. Oh, ladder, ladder, furniture, implements. Well, it's not really very portable, is it? Ladder. Okay. Well, see, so here we go. Ladder is there. Um, step ladder, ladder, okay. Um, a pale rider, Fred, I've got ladder down, okay. Uh, statue, we've got statue. Bath, basin, bath. I think bath is a good idea though. We haven't got bath. How do we not get bath? Bath. Bathtub. Here we go. We've got to have a bathtub. Okay, basin. Basin, basin, basin. What are we doing with here? Basin. Mm, okay, deck. Um, dirt. Were you meaning deck or dick? Because if it's dick, it's not going to go on. Deck. Deck. I guess deck. 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 I just like to say the word. Okay, deck. Deck. Uh, sawhorse. Um, I guess I guess it could be actually. Sawhorse. This is actually not that easy to do when you think about it. Like, okay, what is actually furniture? What is what is what what is what is what is, what is, what is actually does it count as? I don't know. You tell me. You are. Some of these are going to stay. Some of these are going to go. I don't know. I think I'm. I'm like. Mm, I don't know. Uh, we've got a um a bookcase, a bookshelf, bookcase. The same thing. We've got bench, um, kitty cage, a playpen. Well, we do have cages already, but it's not the same sort of playpen's not a bad idea though. Fred, playpen. Hi Phil, how's it going? Um, we're we're in the process. I'm I'm actually. I'm just having a dig at Wizards of the Coast in their uh, um, furniture list, frankly, right now. Um, an itchy post. <laughs> furniture size puzzle device. Furniture size puzzle device? What? Seamstress. Oh, Taylor's dummy. That's a good idea. Right, let's do this. So, Taylor's dummy. Taylor. Um, T A I. Goes about here. dummy I mean we should have a dummy anyway whether it be a dumb a tailor's dummy or just a dummy dummy <laughs> tailor's dummy all right tailor's dummy is on um play pen play play pen okay I got play pen a crib A cryo cryo chamber, a cloning vessel. Oh my gosh! Um, a barbecue grill. Hell, we don't have a barbecue, do we? Barbecue. <laughs> uh, yeah, barbecue time. Barbecue, 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 barbecue. Bar barbecue. Telescope. Oh, nice. I think oh, actually that's true. It can be very large, can be very small, so it does sort of fit under this, doesn't it? If you've got an observatory and it ain't really portable, is it? It's pretty big. Um, bar. Bear Q. Let's put barbecue. I guess we can go barbecue grill. There we go. 
Um, a stuffed beholder magical security device. <laughs> uh, dear. Uh, telescope. We'll put the telescope on because I, I know we're going to have arguments about telescopes can be much larger. They're not just always small. And there's no way I can free. free, free. I mean, I, I can't say that's not true. That's, yeah. Yeah, telescope, telescope. Every telescope I've ever put into a game has usually been huge. Um, cryo chamber. Cryo. Cryo chamber. Uh, what do we got here? Cryo. Cryo chamber. Probably going to have to define that a little bit. Don't miss ceiling is up. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do we got here? Ton. What's a ton? Is a gallon? And a loaded one weighs a ton. The walls work. I am. I am. I am lost. As a, what? What are we talking about now? You tell me what you're talking about because I don't know. Right, spit, keep spitting out things. I'm going to write down the various things that Wizard of the Coast thinks are furniture. Crescent. What the heck is a crescent? I don't know what a crescent is. Does you, do you? Because I'm like, what is that? Really? Cupboard. Oh, I suppose we could have a cupboard. Cabinets and cupboards, are, they feel like they're the same. I suppose we can have cupboard. I'm putting a question mark on that one. Cupboard. So I kind of feel like it's just a, it's another thing. I am you, you guys. Your conversation. I am I am lost. Keep going with it, but it's not working for me. Um, <laughs> cushion. No cushion. You got to be kidding. They put down cushion. That's furniture. Whatever. What a what a dumb idea. Okay, Deus. Is a dais like a pedestal or a plinth or a... I feel like it's kind of a repeat of stuff we've had before. Dais. Uh, dais. I don't know about that one. Desk. We've got desk already. Right. We've got desk. Fireplace. Did we have fireplace? Yeah, we do have fireplace. We've got fireplace. Oh, fireplace wood, fireplace mantle, fire, whatever. Uh, a fair, a fair, a fair kin. What's a fair kin? Is that that a, a fair kin? Is that a thing? A fair kin. Well, if it's just a large door knocker, it ain't going on. I'm getting rid of that. Fair kin? What is that? Uh, we've got fountain already. They haven't got, they haven't got Forge. We got that. Frisco. Well, do I really want to go Friscoing? <laughs> uh, Frisco. Uh, I don't know about that one. We'll see about that. I don't know. I'm not convinced. Grindstone. Well, we've got Grindstone already, but we've got Garden Trough and all sorts of other things. They've got like Grindstone. That's it. Pulp we got Pulpit. So, yep. Yeah. We had the uh, the minister through, and the minister already gave us some um, pulpits, so we're all good on the pulpits. Um, so we've got most of that there. Hamper, hamper, isn't it like just a basket? A hamper's just a basket, isn't it? Well, that's not, that's pretty lame. Hamper, oh, I'm putting a big question mark. That's probably getting ditched as well. Um, hassock, what's a hassock? Does anybody know what a hassock is? Hassock. I don't know what that is. No idea. Uh, next. Hogshed. What? Large cask. More casks. A keg. An idol. Now, an idol's not a bad idea. I'll give you that. An idol's not a bad idea. Let's let's go with that. Idol. Although idols can be different sizes, so okay, all right, yeah, that's fine. Uh, keg, it's like just a big barrel, really. Barrel. 
Really, that's what it is. It's just a big barrel. I don't, we don't have to keep doing more barrels. We're going to call it keg, a barrel, whatever. Um, we already got loom. Uh, we've got loom, lectin, and ladder. We've got mat. Well, mat is basically just more carpet. Mattress. No, 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 I don't think so. More question marks here. And then um, mattress. This is their idea of uh, furniture. Mm, we'll see. Um, what's a pail? Oh, it's, it's like a bucket. If they decide to put bucket down. We've got oh hammock. Hammock's not a not a bad idea. Let's do do hammock. On in church is it? Well, it's gonna get go. It's going. Ditch. It ain't it ain't worth keep keeping. Uh, but hammock. Mm, hammock. Hammock. I think we can put hammock in though. Hammock. I uh, like that idea. Great cover. Drainage. Great cover. Yes, we don't worry. You don't have to worry about the brazier. We've definitely got it. Um, loom, mat, mattress, whatever. Um, next. Their idea is to put pail. I don't think so. I really don't. I think pail is... Painting, we've got painting already. Um, a palette. I suppose a palette was... Mm, okay, all right, I'll give you the palette. Palette. Not a pedestal, we've got pedestal already. Pegs, really? That's... That, ugh, pedestal, pegs. That's going. We don't need that one. Pegs question mark a pillow really no hopeless hopeless uh, what else we got here I think a fantastic lo location is a good way a good maybe 50% of the time keeps the uh, game interesting but doesn't over okay all right yeah I agree I agree um, Pipe, large cask. A pipe is a large cask. There's so many casks. We've got cut. We've got pipe. We've got quilts. Oh my good lord! Are you telling me they could not get somebody who could come up with furniture? Quilt. Um, O P Q. Is it, is it O P Q? I think it is O P Q, isn't it? Popcorn recliner PQ. I think it's Q here. They've they've got here quilt of all things. I can tell you now. I'm not putting down quilt. That'll be di getting ditched for sure. Absolutely. Rug. We've already got rug. We've got recliner rug. They put sack. What a. Are you gonna get sacked. Gonna get sacked. Was the coast a sack? Nah. What a load of junk. Okay. Crew constructed shelter. A teepee. A footstool, a TP, furniture, TP. Well, it's just basically a tent. You're saying a tent. You want to add tent to the list. You want to add a tent to the list. We we are over the hundreds, but there's going to be a whole lot I want to take out for sure. Um, tent, 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 tent. Or a lean footstool. Um, I guess a stool. We could put down stool rather than that. Uh, let's have a look here. A scone. It's not really. That's yeah, whatever. Sconce. Not really convinced by that one. Uh, let's let's actually take this out of here. Go cut. Sconce. Paste. 
which I'm probably going to ditch. Um, Ottoman, what's an Ottoman? Is pipe organ there? We've got piano, that's good enough. Uh, two wheeled cart, that's a vehicle. We're not really, that's not really furniture. Um, a stool, we had stool suggested. Stool, which is really just a, a different type of chair. Okay, cool, we've got that one. And then what else do they have here? Screen. Screen, as in what, what, do they, what do they mean by screen? Um, hmm. A sheet, oh come on. A sheet, a shelf. Man, they are, they are desperate, aren't they? Um, but a shelf um, is probably going to stay. Um, I can I can live with that one. Shrine, we've got shrine already. Uh, sideboard, sideboard. Is that what it's called? What is a sideboard actually? Really? Sideboard. Not sure what a sideboard is. A sofa, which is basically just a couch. Sofa. Um, uh, we might just call it sofa rather than couch anyway. Staff normal. Staff normal. What's a staff normal? Stand. A stand. Stand, stand by me. Stand. Not sure about that one. Okay, screen, changing screens, room. A divider, divider screen. That's probably a better word for it. If we just put screen, it's too confusing. A divider screen I can live with, actually. Let's take this and go cut. Go to D. Divider. Paste. Divider screen. That's probably better. I can live with a divider screen. A dog or a cat? Chandelier, we've got hello negative space. Poor, we've got a lot of few people here. Um, how are we doing for time? Oh, we've got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Right, so let's 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 see. You keep throwing your ideas in there and I'll keep um, razzing Wizards of the Coast. Uh, we've got statue already, so we don't need to worry about that one. Statue, what else do they have here? Statue, stool, they've got two stools. Well, we only need one stool. Table, really? We're going to have more than one table? No, we have one table. Thank you very much. One, two, three, four, five, six different tables they have listed. We could just put one table. So, well, that made it life easier for them, didn't it? Throne, well done. You've got something down we've got as well. Tub, a tub. I guess we can have tub. Um, will I let them have tub? I don't know. Um, tub. We'll go there. I feel like tub is like bathtub, but maybe it's not really bathtub. So it's more like a buffet, is it? Large burner, incense burner, large incense burner. Huh? Isn't a, a large incense burner just basically a vase or an urn that you just shove the incense in? Is it not? A ton, a huge cask. Ah, a ton, I see. We're not putting that down. In, which is basically more vases. Pretty, pretty, uh, yeah, I don't know. T U, T U, in, vase. Uh, I'm not really fond of the idea of having the same thing there. I would prefer to say vase and then have some various things that it sort of fills out rather than having repeat of the same concept, which is what we're getting a lot of here. Wool basin. Oh, I see what you're trying. So that's what somebody had mentioned a basin before, didn't they? And I said no, or just left it or ignored it or something. And, and base, so I see where you're going with this basin. Basin. Not bison, but basin. Basin. 
a a what a wall uh what i don't know a wall something a wall i kind of got the idea though a shallow pit a brazier shallow pit oven oven's not a bad idea let's put it in an oven but they haven't got oven here What do you mean by still? I'm confused. Oven. I, I understand what oven is. OP. Let's put oven in here. An oven. Good idea. Good, 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 good idea. Let's put that one in there. Wooden billets. What's a wooden billet? A wooden billet. A wooden billet. Wind chimes. Wooden. Billet. I don't know what that is. I've got no idea. Workbench. Yeah, we can do a workbench. Workbench is a good idea. Let's do that. Um, s'mores pit. What's a s'mores s'mores pit? I am, <laughs> are you you kidding with me? Aren't you? You're playing with me. Okay, so that was Wizards of the Coast's idea of furniture. And um, I, I would say that a lot of their stuff is not really furniture. And a lot of it is like lazy because they just pff, they see the same thing over and over again. Table, 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 chair, chair, chair. Like, let's put that aside. Let's see what let's see what another professional's come up with. Um, a still is a big tank for boiling a liquid and, and get the different parts of the steam. Usually it's making oh that's still ah okay all right now i understand a still um let's just put alcohol still it's going to be easier if i write still but i put alcohol still now we're all good l keys to the rescue here we go alcohol 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 still. All right, we will have to describe that little sucker. But let's let's have at another another look at a um, a major um, major publisher. I've got their book in front of me. I'm having a look at this. They have actually they they've they've gone with Anvil as a piece of major um, furniture. They've got alcove, but I feel like alcove is not furniture. It's, it's kind of part of the room, so I don't think I'm going to count that at all. An archway? No. A balcony? Not really. I wouldn't say balcony. Would you say balcony is furniture? I wouldn't say it's... Uh, no. Bar? But they do have bar. They have bed. Bed gong. What? A gong? A gong. I don't know about bed gong, but I say gong. I'm... It, takes me back to Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Gong. Uh, let's go. Let's gong it. <laughs> let's put a gong in there. Gong. Uh, uh, there. All right. So gong. Bench. We've got that. I'm pretty sure we've got bench, bench on our list. As it is bench yeah we got bench uh bookcase we got bookcase brazier bridge oh, no, i don't think that's furniture that's yeah that's not furniture um a bunk we put down bunk i'm pretty sure i put down the word bunk yes i did a uh, cabinet we had cabinet in here so yes cage they've got cage cab uh so i think okay carpet cask uh they got casket. Casket is like coffin, really. They've got cauldron. I don't know about cauldron. I'm feeling. I'm not feeling it. Not really. Training dummies. We've got. Uh, we've actually got a. Um, yeah. We've got. We've got the tailor's dummy. A planetary device. A place in alcove is an alcove. Is how we. 
we make a, uh, a TARDIS. <laughs> I see, I see. <laughs> I'm leaving the alcove off. Um, <laughs> okay, cauldron. Um, I, uh, it'd have to be a pretty blooming big cauldron for me to include it. Now I'm sitting here and thinking probably far too much about this stuff. Cauldron. Do I, do I, do I want to do it? Uh, I'll put it down. I'm, I'm not convinced. I, I would prefer to put cauldron on a different list. Do you know what I mean? I just don't know that this, this is the list. The cauldron should be there. I'm not, not hugely sold on it. A chair or still. We've got chair already. Um... The, the, doc, the doctor is coming. Oh, uh, yes. A dartboard. Chess set. No, because the dartboards and chess sets are quite small. I don't feel like the furniture. I would much prefer them to be things that you can um, nick. The players are going to want to nick those things, right? They're going to want to stick them in their, their, their backpack. A chair with straps. A chandelier. They've got that. Um, a chariot or wagon. No, that's not furniture. Chests. Yes, well, we've got chest already, I'm pretty sure. I put down chest. I'm sure I put chest. In, yes, I did. Chimes. Oh, we had wind chime already. A clock. We put a f grandfather clock. A cot. Did we have cot? Somebody said something about a cot or a, a crib. A cot or a crib. We've got couch. Uh, we've got crates. We've got crib here and cot. Why are you going to have cot and crib? Like, if we can't do one. But I think we should have at least one of them. And I didn't put any of them down, did I? So let's go. Is a cot and a crib the same thing? No, we're not putting down message table. We've got tables already. Tables just covers everything. <laughs> i got the word table there. That's it. How are you going to nick a piano? Good, good. <laughs> Inversion tables? Yeah, possibly. <laughs> Large game board. Chessboard game board. Yeah, I, again, I think it's not. Uh, yeah, I don't know. No, I don't think we're gonna put it under this that 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 category. I'll put it on somewhere else. Um, yeah, well, I mean, of course, if you <laughs> okay, let me put down crib before I get distracted, which I probably already have been. But crib. Crib. A. Bed or cot or a young humanoid. Mm -hmm. There we go. We got the crib. Uh, cot, crib, um, couch, crate, crib, crucible. What? You can confirm? All right, cool, cool. Uh, <laughs> um, crib. No. Crucible. What the heck is a crucible? You know I'm tired when I start asking questions, people. As soon as I start asking questions about stuff, I'm looking at stuff, and my, my brain ain't working properly anymore. Crucible. Cruce. Crucible. I don't know what that is, really. I'm not sure. I don't even know if it's, it's yeah, crucible, pff, cupboard. Oh, we got cupboard already. Uh, curtain, tapestry. Oh, didn't we have curtain somewhere? I'm sure we did. Cushions, which I don't want to put there. Um, cupboard. Tapestry, we've got tapestry. Um, dais, I think we had dais. Yes, we did dais. Dome, what the heck is, what are we supposed to do with dome? Oh, hello, AJ, how are you doing? Um, so AJ, I've, um, as, as you know, I, I've just been, I've just been taking the piss out of Wizards of the Coast list of furniture and now I'm going through, um, <laughs> now I'm going through the list of items that, uh, Paizo has in their Game Mastery book for the version one. Um, good afternoon. How are you, AJ? How are you doing? <laughs> Pets need furniture too. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Um, uh, it's a table people sleep on, is it? <laughs> you melt metal in. It's a crucible, it's what you melt metal in. How big are they, though? 
Yeah, well, yeah, but I mean, how how large? This is. I know this is your wheelhouse, AJ. Remember, tables for monsters first. Your 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 subscribers want you to produce stuff for monster creation. That's that's the first thing. Furniture, great. Yes. Dungeon dressing, yes. But later, do the monster stuff. You're welcome to join with us, though. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to get distracted. I know he's going to he's going to spend the next two uh, um, day or two, and it'll all it'll all be around um, dungeon furnishings <laughs> and dungeon dressing. <laughs> uh, big media doesn't want you to know what a crucible is. Carry on. All right. Okay. It was Star Wars: The Droid Factory. Be large. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, well, that makes sense then. Now I understand. Now I understand. A dome. I'm not really sure what to do with a dome. I don't feel like... I feel like putting a door down as furniture is taking the piss. A divan. Uh, dresser. Exposed. Desk. Dresser. Yeah, okay. Divan. Dresser. <clears throat> okay. I don't want to put it down. I've, I've had an allergic reaction to dresser. Why is that? I know what it is because it feels it feels lame. <sighs> dresser. Okay. Dry sink. Commerce a uh, com station. That's not furniture. That's an entire room. <laughs> uh, fairly small. They kind of look like a. Oh, do they? We've got fish tank. Don't worry. They made sure there's a fish tank in there. And I know you're going to put killer fish in there. So that's all good. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, Fred, I, I, I am taking the piss a bit. I mean, um, let's just say their tables aren't that great. Like, they, they're not that well done. The crucible is probably going to go. If it's small... It's probably going. It's probably it's probably coming off the list. <laughs> um, fetches. What the hell is a fetcher? I don't know what a fetcher is. Does anybody? Yeah, I'm swearing a lot today, but then it's my live stream. YouTube hates me anyway, so I don't care. Um, <clears throat> fetcher. Fetches. What is that? I don't know what that is. Uh, file cabinet. I suppose you could say file cabinet. File cabinet. It just feels like another cabinet. I mean, a cabinet is a cabinet, right? What you put in it is... No, I'm leaving it off. No... Fireplace, we've got fireplace. A font, what's a font? A forge, we've got forge. Fountain, we've got that Frisco. Furnace. A forge and a furnace. I suppose a furnace is slightly different to a fireplace and a forge, but a furnace, it's like going back to the well too many times for the same idea. Um, it probably won't last on here, people. Furnace, fern. Furnace. Here. Uh, pot plant. We've got pot plant. We've got it on the list. It's there. Yeah, I feel like cabinets, dresses, they, they all feel like they're pretty much the same thing. It's, yeah, it's like, it's going back to the well and saying, oh, I've got something new for you, but it's actually the same thing you had before. Um... So I think a lot of these, if you see question marks, they're probably, they're, they're likely to get removed. <laughs> um, and in anything I compile into the same thing, then I will do. Uh, what else have we got here? Font, Forge, Fountain, Frescoes, Gallows, Guillotine. No, that's Tortured Devices. We've got a, we covered that under Tortured Devices. A Gibbet, Grindstone, we've done that one. Hog Shed. What is a Hog Shed? I don't understand. It's come up twice now. 
and I, I don't understand what a hog shed is. Is 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 it a, is it really something that interesting? Is it hog shit? Hog shit? Ah, oh, what is that? No idea. Um, next, a hooker, a horn. No, we've got idle already. Um, I don't know what a hook. Hooker is. What is that? No idea. I'm not putting horn down. Um, part of the wall. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I was pretty sure it. I don't think that should count. Frisco can go. Frisco is. Nah. Where's it? I don't. I don't really count that as furniture. Let's let's get rid of Frisco. We got plenty of stuff here, so I, I feel like we can we can we can cull and trim all we like. An an instrument, Iron Maiden. That's to torture chambers. Keg is the same thing. We've done loom, mat, um, mill wheel, a mill wheel. What's a mill wheel? Coat rack, torture rack. We've got the we've got we've got that already. Katy Perry in the in the bikini. What? What? What are you doing, AJ? <laughs> what are you doing? What have you put in here? <laughs> Coat rack, torture rack, barbecue rack, Katy Perry in a bikini. <laughs> okay. It's nice to know. So you like Katy Perry. Um, oh, I see. That's what somebody was mentioning before. Now I'm starting to understand. Yeah, we've got we've got that crystal ball. I don't feel a like crystal ball is it's too small. Telescopes can be quite large, but the other one you just mentioned there, that's actually a middle wheel mirror. Uh, actually, mirror's not a bad idea, is it? I feel like it's kind of on the wall though. Mirror. I put mirror. You can have a big mirror, I guess. Mirror. Put a question mark on that one. And what's this? This is the thing that you just mentioned before. Let's let's put this in here. This is um. This is the thing that somebody else was trying to um, get me to put down, and I didn't really know what the heck to mark it down as. Okay, this is that's that thing. A spinning planet machine. Okay, all right, I got it. <laughs> an AC, an air conditioner, <laughs> uh, a life-size cupboard likeness of someone. <laughs> a tobacco pipe with, oh, is it? Okay, is a smoking pipe very large? Oh, I see. Okay, now I need to see a picture of it to be be convinced. But now I understand a bit more. Um, mill, mill wheel. I don't understand what mill wheel is exactly. I am, I'm very tempted to not bother, but I'll put it down and then I'll look it up. Mill wheel. What is a mill wheel? Mirror. We've got mirror. Mosaic snow. That doesn't count. That's on the floor and, and the walls. I'm not doing that one. Uh, mounting blocks. Nah. Pallets. And oh, we've got pallet down already. Pedestal, we've got then uh, pentagram, no, pew. Isn't a pew kind of like um, the uh, plinth or the dais or a pillar? No, that's not going to be. Pillroy, no, that's a torture device. Pew, I feel like pew is... Yeah, I feel like I'm going back to the, um, the, the well again of a pew. Let's just have a look. Is there too many things that are the same name? Uh, pew, pillar, pillroy, pit. No, I don't do pit. Um, podium, podium. Again, pool. Oh, I didn't think about that. We didn't have a swimming pool. <laughs> Where's our swimming pool? It's a windmill. A wind wheel is a grinding stone in a windmill. Oh, it's windmill. Oh, I see. Now I feel like that's just that's just part of the the mechanism so we'll take that out we'll take that out 
not taken. Um, a pull doesn't need to be a swimming pool, but a pull's not a bad idea. Um, I feel like it could be folded into something else, though. Pull could be folded into something else very easily without having to go silly. Pull. Okay, all right. Podium. I don't really like the idea of putting podium down either, frankly. Podium. Pod. Podium. 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 Yeah, I don't know. I think they're going to get folded into something else. Podium. Rack. No, we're not doing a rack. Um, pew is a long wooden bench. Oh, okay. Thank you, Phil. So really, we take we we take pew, which I put in, and it's a bench. That's all it is. We go cut. Not not needing to put that there. So if somebody says, "Oh, have you got this thing?" Well, yes, we do. It's under this bench. A pew. Blah blah. Uh, a rack, I suppose. Can we? Uh, it's not like a, a torture rack, but like a rack rack, isn't it? That's what we're talking about here. Is a rack rack. Okay, we can put rack, I guess. Rack. Um, pull up or a pew. Podium is lectin. Okay, podium is lectin. Thank you. Which is the most normal usage? Is it podium or lectin? Oh, we've got a sharp, we've got a, um, a stone grinder, a, um, grinding stone. We've got grinding stone already, so we, we, we don't need to do that again. A mimic mic. Uh, we've got cage. We've got cage, perch, leash, pin. Uh, we've got a play pin, and we've got a cage down. A cat tower. I don't think we need it. I think I think we're good. <laughs> um Let's have a look here. Rack, rubble, no, saddle, not putting that down. Safe. A safe, I guess we could put a safe down. It does fill a, you know, because you can have small safes, but you can have a big safe, but it's not really that portable, and it is definitely kind of fits under furniture, doesn't it? Safe. Let's put safe. Sconce, screen, shelf, shrine, sideboard, spiral, staircase, not doing that. Stand, statue. Steeple, no, stool, stove. We have oven. Um, so stove and oven, kind of the same sort of thing. Stove. Uh, table, tapestry, throne, torture equipment. There you go. Just say torture equipment. Trunk, tub, tun, urn, wash, stand, well, winch, and wood bench. Right, okay, cool. Well... There's definitely a few things here I'm going to cut back on because um, I, I think there's a lot of these things that can be put into the same thing. We don't have 132 things. What we really have here is a lot less than 132 things because a lot of them, like a vase and an urn, really the same sort of thing. Um, I, I think we can kind of fold a lot of these ideas together. Technic weapon wraps and suits of armor display as furniture. Yeah, uh, suits of armor. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Did we have something like that? I can't remember. I can't remember. Anyway, we're out of time. I'm out of time. Um, I'm going to go and do some stuff, but I will probably be on... I'm probably going to be on um, Discord pretty soon. Mainly because I have a whole bunch of stuff I would like to get done. Um, and uh, I, what am I dealing with this week? I thought I thought as a, a nice change, it would be good to... Well, we're doing a skill challenge this, this, this tomorrow. I'm going to build a skill challenge. And I want to build one for a race. Like a horse race or a, a dinosaur race sound like a lot of fun. A skill challenge for a horse uh, for horse race is pretty basic, but a dinosaur race, probably sending it through. Not not I don't want to send it through a coliseum or an arena. I really want to stick it through the streets of a city. 
So, uh, you know, sort of a more of an open race, something like that through a city would be a lot of fun. Something you can sort of modify. Um, and then um, what else are we dealing with this week? The Arapid. I'm going to talk about the monster law for the Arapid from Esper's Emporium of Esoterica. We are building a, I think it's a cleric. We're going to make a cleric for uh, Pathfinder the next day after that. And we're covering basic combat not no not basic combat it's basic game mechanics so rolling a d6 d8 d10s d12s d20s but mostly d6 d10 and d d20 systems and dice pulls and things like that and probability different ways of sort of um, resolving um a, a role-playing game basically yeah yeah now chandelier is already there we've got the chandelier we've ca yeah we've got a candelier in the candle thingy we've got that there it's there i can't spell to save my life either buddy um and then end of the week i was going to do mork bork or merk bork but because because it's not the it's not the friday for me where we are doing a game master round table i think i'm going to go over and i'm going to rebuild the the cleric class It'll either be the rogue class or the cleric class for Dungeons and Dragons 5e. Because I don't like what, what Wizards of the Coast is doing, so I thought we'll just rebuild it. And I think one of our group is playing a cleric, so that would be fun if I can get that done. So there's a lot of the stuff going on. But I'm probably going to be hanging out on Patreon. Not Patreon, Discord. 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 I'll chuck the Discord link in there, and once I've finished a couple of things, I'll be over there probably, if you want to come and hang out and just talk, talk nonsense. Um, I'm pretty good at doing that, <laughs> or at least sometimes, sometimes, not always, but sometimes, but yeah, I'll, I'll send a link and you can come and join me. Um, all of the stuff that we I make is always goes onto Patreon. Eventually it winds up there. Okay. Uh, and yeah, in two more months, we'll come back and talk a bit more about dungeons and stuff. And uh, I, I think we're probably going to wind up doing the smaller items for our dungeons. But again, I, I don't like the idea of just giving you a list of things and not explaining what they are. Oh, so AJ, you're going to make videos about famous monsters from fun movies. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Oh, good. For those of you who thought that AJ Pickett had stopped making monster videos, you were wrong. The Vorpal Bunny is coming up. Oh, yes. I remember the Vorpal Bunny. Monty Python's hunt for the um, uh, Holy Grail. Uh, so yes, let's. <laughs> so AJ still does mo monster stuff, people. He does. He does. Okay, it's just not. It's just not Wizards of the Coast monsters. And since most of Wizards of the Coast monsters are mythical monsters anyway, it doesn't matter. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> he can talk about those things, and he doesn't step on anybody's toes. Uh, and he can do his own thing, which is like good. This is kind of what AJ is the one who convinced me to do talk about monsters every week. So if you wanted to know who made me um, made me sort of like Fred, it's time to do that. It's AJ, of course it is. Any, anyway, I've got to get going, and um, yeah, empty this, uh, the the lizard and get the get the uh, get the system cleaned out. Um, but I will be back tomorrow, and we'll do skill challenges for my way. We're doing skill challenges my way for a race. A race with dinosaurs, I think, is the, go is the way to go. Anyway, a uh, huge thank you to my patrons who support me every week so I can keep doing this. Thank you for taking part in the poll. I do appreciate it. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for taking part in the chat and provided me with so many cool ideas. Um, and everybody who's been here just watching or listening, thank you. Those of you who took part, like AJ Pickett, who's been here, thanks for showing up, buddy. Um, F. Hubber, who's provided lots of ideas. Pale Rider, Phil, Shiner81, uh, is there anybody at Negative Space? Uh, I think we had the Dungeon Minister here a little while ago, the first hour, which was kind of cool. Derp. Uh, does have I missed anybody? Uh, is there is there anybody that I have not mentioned? And out of all the names that I could have um, flung out there, Pale Rider has been hanging out with us as well. There's a few of you. 
There's a lot of you. It's been a fun time. Core blimey, did we get a lot done. In any case, wherever you are in the world, whether it be the morning, the afternoon, the night, or the wee wee early morning, please look after yourself, your family, and your friends. Be nice to your neighbours. And hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s.